Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will tell you how to texture eyes in Marvel Rivals 3D model, okay? So you guys already know that texturing eyes in Marvel Rival 3D model is really hard and it's very complicated but I will show you a very easy step and I will also provide a eyes material for you to download which you can easily apply on your 3D model in Blender, okay? So let's start with the tutorial. By the way, someone has already made a tutorial on this thing, but he has uh, made it a bit advanced. He has not explained a lot of things in it, but I will try to, I will just basically uh, make that, that tutorial easy for you guys to understand. Okay. So everything would be same. If you are an advanced uh, user of Blender, you can directly watch his tutorial. I will link that guy's uh, tutorial in my description. But if you want to uh, understand easily and if you want to know how things work, I will explain everything in this video and you can just uh, simply follow my steps and try to texture your own 3d model okay so let's start with the tutorial so as you guys can see that we have opened our blender and you can see we are texturing today the invincible girl and her code name is 1050 and this uh, character is launched in season 1 release okay and uh, after the season 1 update many people were facing broken mapping files and the models were not loading properly so I have already updated the new mapping files. You can download it from my previous video. Okay. So if you are facing any problem then. If you have if you are not facing any problem, you can use the old mapping files. Okay. And you can see that we have already applied all the other textures of her body. You can see we have applied the body equip head and hair texture. But we have not applied the eyes texture because texturing eyes is very difficult. And I will tell you how to texture eyes basically. Okay. So for now I have disabled these bones you can enable if you want to animate it from here but we have disabled the bones and now we will start texturing the eyes okay hello well, if you zoom on her eyes you can see that there are basically three meshes in here you can see there is an above mesh and then there is this thing the eyes thing and then there is something below the eyes that is I uh, you can say it eyeballs okay First of all, you you need to separate all three meshes to texture them. Okay, so how do you separate the meshes? Okay, so I will tell you how to separate the message in very easy way possible. First of all, just select your model. You can see I have clicked on my model for once and it has been selected and press tab button. Okay, so you can see different vertices that are joined together to make your 3D model. Okay, and you can change the selection option from here. You can see they select vertices and this one selects edges and this one select faces okay so we will use a face selection mode okay and then we will click anywhere on our model okay let's click here okay let's forget it so you can see all our part are texture but in eyes there are uh, different faces here we will start separating it so first of all let's separate this above thing this is basically the eye shadow thing it provides shadow in your eyes okay so you can see there are different messages here first of all click anywhere on this mesh do not click on this one and this one instead click on this one this whole thing is the eye shadow thing okay just click anywhere on it okay and then press ctrl plus n all new ctrl plus l on your keyboard ctrl plus l l for loin you can see that all the linked messages that are linked with this uh, mesh okay this face has been selected now we will do the same for the other eyes okay if you come here you can see this is also the shadow part okay first of all hold ctrl on your keyboard do not leave the ctrl button hold ctrl and then left click here and then you can leave the control button by this way you ensure that this selection has not been not been deselected okay if you randomly press anywhere this old selection will be gone okay so just press control then press control plus l and for selecting uh, uh, any other thing while uh, making sure that this is selected press control and then click on this mesh okay and then press control plus l again to select the all the meshes that are linked with these faces okay so just press control plus l you can see that we have selected our eyebrows uh, uh, sorry eyebrows eyeshadow thing and then right click here then click on this separate and then click on this selection button okay you can see that it has been separated now press tab button to go to object mode again or you can go to object mode from here also okay you can see this is our mesh press on this drop down button and you can see this is the mesh selected we can rename it eyeshadow e y e s h a d o w this one is eyeshadow now we will separate this thing the cornea thing so just again select your whole mesh do not select this eyeshadow thing instead select your complete mesh press tab button again okay now we will select this just click on this and then press ctrl plus l and while holding ctrl button click here and then press again ctrl plus l then right click here then click on this separate button then click on the selection button okay you can see that this mesh has also been separated just select this mesh 
you can see this is the uh, selected match just, just double click on it and rename is rename it eyes highlight okay you can see that we have renamed with eyes highlight and now we can disable these two matches okay so just disable the eyes highlight and disable the eye shadow button okay now we come with the main eyeball thing and we will apply basically our texture on it if you apply this texture on this eyeball thing uh, your model will already be completed you don't need to apply texture on these two things but i will tell you how to apply texture on these two things also these two meshes okay so press tab again on your keyboard to go to the edit mode and then you can see this is the eyeball thing just uh, select any uh, any of the face here and press ctrl plus l again do the same thing hold ctrl button and then cl left click to select anything and then press again ctrl plus l okay you can see that this is the we have selected our eyeball just right click here click on separate and then by selection okay you can see our eyeball has been selected press tab button to go to object mode again select this eyeball and rename it eyeball okay you can see we have renamed it eyeball so this is how we separate meshes in blender okay now we will start the texturing process of this mesh okay so let's start with texturing so now for texturing the eyes first we will select this mesh and go to our shading tab okay so you can see we have came to our shading tab and you can see we have selected our eyeballs okay now you need to go to this material properties and here you can go to i01 okay first of all we need to find that texture with it and that material which is affecting this eye eyeball okay so if you try to go to i03 and change its color okay you can see we have changed its color nothing is happening and again if you go to i02 and try to click on this use node and change this color you can see nothing is happening so what material is basically governing this mesh it's i01 for you it might differ so you can find this way by actually changing the color of that mesh okay so for now we will click on this eyes 01 and then click on this use node and then if we try to change this color you can see our eyeball color is changing so the material which is governing this mesh is known as i01 so first of all we need to find that and now we will texture everything in this material i01 to actually texture the eyeball okay so i have uh, i will already provide a link uh, in my youtube description you can download that you can download uh, the material file from there and uh, once you have downloaded it just click on this file button and then click on this append button uh, append button and then i have downloaded this eyes material okay uh, i will give you the link in description you can download from there okay so just double click on it and this time double click on this material option you can see there is a eyes material here just click on this and then press append okay nothing has happened but our eyes material has been loaded into our blender okay so just we need to just change this material from i01 to the eyes material that i have given you so just press on this drop down menu and you can see i have given you mi103 1001 i01 material okay just click on this you can see that uh, a new material has been found and there is an error showing that in uv map cornea uv map is missing okay so how do we add a cornea uv map okay so first select your eyes okay you can see i have selected our eyes go to this data properties go to the uv maps and first of all delete all the uv maps that are available here i i know that this step is going to be very complicated but just follow the step you don't need to apply your brain actually just follow the step you can see there are two extra uvs first of all we need to delete this uv so for deleting it just select the uv and then press this minus button okay and then again you can see this is the uv extra uv just delete it for by pressing this minus button now we need to add again a new uv this, just press this add button and here you can see it is written uv map just rename it to cornea okay c o r n e a make sure the, the spelling matches this one otherwise it will be become red and as soon as you rename it cornea you can see the red error has been gone and our eyes has been actually turned into black okay but uh, the reason why it is turned into black because the eyes are the textures are bit zoomed out we need to actually rescale rescale down this texture to actually make it look like a eye so how do we do that so make sure you have selected this mesh this mesh eyeball mesh do not select any other mesh otherwise your texturing will not work okay just select this eyes mesh and change this uh, uh, the first texture change this from repeat to clip and change this also from repeat to clip okay you can see we have uh, uh, actually changed the material from repeat to clip and now you need to go to this uv editing tab okay yeah you can see here is a uv editing tab and make sure the eyeballs are selected just go to this uv editing tab and here zoom zoom on your model first of all we will disable the bones and you can see i have disabled the bones apply go to the material preview setting you can see here eyes are appearing here i just zoom on this model and here 
just select once okay just select just click once here okay you have you can see i have clicked once on our eyes and selected any part of our eyes and then press a button on your keyboard to select whole mesh of the eyes you can see i have pressed a button and my whole mesh has been selected okay now we need to just click on this button to disable everything to disable the whole ui completely so just click on this and you can see the whole ui has been disabled in this tab okay now we need to come to this tab and just click any part here you can see i have clicked any part here click on any part and then press again the a button okay you can see i have pressed the a button and now the whole texture has been selected okay so now on your keyboard you need to press s button and your cursor will change okay so you can see i have pressed s button on my keyboard and my cursor has actually changed to some crosshair sort of thing okay so now you can see if i move my mouse this uh, actually this mesh is, is changing its size okay so just scale it completely and in the next step you can see our eyes are actually becoming more like eyes okay if you zoom down it it will you can see that this is becoming very black and if you try to move your mouse uh, towards the right side uh, or you can actually you can see i am scaling up this mesh you can see that our eyes are looking looking more like the eyes and scale it until you find your eyes to be perfect and now i am finding my eyes to be perfect you can see my eyes are looking perfect in this model so just press left click to confirm this scale setting okay so once you press left click on your keyboard uh, on your mouse you can see that my cursor has already turned to a, a cursor thing actually and then you can go again to the sitting mode and you can see our eyes has now been applied on this 3d model and you can see how amazing it looks okay but uh, the main problem comes here the texture we are using is not the eyes of this model okay we are using actually the eyes textures of um, uh, scarlet witch okay and it is in green in color but the actual texture of her eyes is in blue color okay so how do we find those texture okay finding those texture first of all you need to go to your X f model export folder okay and you can see i have go to the f model export folder and then click on this marvel and then go to content then again click on this marvel then go to characters okay and then you can see here is a common file okay the common texture file just click on this go to texture and then you can see here is the eyes folder just open it and you can see there are three types of eyes available here okay and if it is not available here in your case you can just simply go to the f model okay and this you can see this is the character folder just click on this character folder and you can see there is a common folder okay just right click on this common folder and then click on save folder package textures okay once you wait for some time the whole package texture will be exported and it will be available here okay you can see all the texture that are available in common folder has been exported okay and it's still exporting but we need only eyes texture so double click on this eyes and you can see this one is the eyes that we want to use this is the blue color of this eyes so just click on it and import it in blender okay so this is how you import and again do the same connection you you need to change this texture to this texture okay this one is the eyes texture okay if you click on this texture if you click on any other texture you can see its preview here okay you can see if i click on this this is basically the uh, eyes thing and you can see this one is the main eye texture and this one we need to replace it okay so we need to first of all uh, remove this eyes texture so how do we do that hello first of all delete this texture and connect this uv map to this vector thing okay and then connect this color thing to this b option okay just copy my setting connect this to b option you can see now our eyes has turned blue and change it from repeat to clip okay you can see now our eyes are looking blue and it is looking amazing okay now we need to texture our eyes highlight material and our eye shadow material so how do we do that okay so follow the tutorial for learning that here if you click on this drop down thing you can see we have hidden two messages first one is eyes highlight and then second one is eye shadow we need to basically texture those messages to make our eye look complete okay so you can see eyes highlight has been disabled just enable this mesh by clicking on this eyes button and you can see this is uh, the eyes highlight thing that is that we have changed its color so first of all we need to find that material which is actually affecting this eye highlight uh, mesh okay so first of all go to this material and i will change the material color of i03 okay and if i change it you can see nothing is happening and if i change the i02 you can see actually our eyes highlight color is changing okay so how do we actually uh, make eyes highlight okay so first of all you need to again go to this common folder characters and common folder okay go to texture you can see there are uh, several different texture just go to eyes 
एंड यू कैन सी देयर इज अ टेक्सचर नेम टी कॉमन आईज हाईलाइट जो वन एम ओके वी नीड टू यूज दिस टेक्सचर टू एक्चुअली टेक्सचर अवर हाईलाइट मटेरियल ओके तो जस्ट ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप दिस टू योर ब्लेंडर फाइल ओके वी यू कैन सी वी हैव ब्रिंग ब्रॉड दिस टेक्सचर टू अवर ब्लेंडर फाइल जस्ट कनेक्ट दिस कलर टू अल्फा ओके एंड चेंज दिस ब्लेंड मोड टू अल्फा हेस्ट ओके यू कैन सी नाउ अवर आईज आर लुकिंग अमेजिंग बट द रीजन इज द हाईलाइट शुड बी वाइट एंड इट इज नॉट वाइट बिकॉज वी हैव चेंज अवर टेक बेस कलर टू ब्लू जस्ट चेंज इज टू वाइट ओके हेलो रिड्यूज द ह्यू एंड सेचुरेशन अवर मटेरियल विल बिकम वाइट यू कैन सी वी हैव अप्लाइड अवर हाईलाइट ऑन टू अवर आईज एंड यू कैन सी नाउ अवर आईज लुक्स अमेजिंग दिस इज हाउ इट लुकड बिफोर and this is how it is looking now actually the eyes is become more shiny okay now we need to actually apply the eye shadow okay we need to texture the eye shadow thing so how do we texture that first of all enable this model and you can see the uh, material actually the governing eye shadow thing is i03 so if you try to change its color you can see the uh, material has been changing its color if you don't want to use this eye shadow because it really doesn't matter if you use it or not you can just change the blend mode of this material to alpha hast and reduce the alpha to zero and now your eyes will look perfect but you want to texture the eye shadow thing also i will tell you a trick okay so for texturing your eyes shadow thing you can see i have turned back the alpha to one and the texture here is green first of all we need to again go to our common folder you can see we have go to uh, here is our common folder and go to textures okay and you are here you can see different texture so first of all we need to use this texture t common black just bring it to your blender okay and connect this to base color okay you can see our eyes has now been completely turned into black but the shadow thing is not appearing so how do we make that you need to use this texture a uh, t common eye shadow okay you can either use any of these three but i will use this one t common eye shadow 3 just bring this uh, to your blender and apply it to your mask okay you can see now the eye shadows thing has been enabled okay and make sure the blend mode is in alpha hast otherwise your eye shadow will not work okay so you can see we have already applied our eye shadow this is how it used to look before and this is how it is looking now okay so you can see now our eyes has been completely textured okay and you can see how cool this eyes looks her eyes looks amazing you can see here in full screen her eyes looks amazing her eye looks shiny also this is the shiny thing this is the shadow thing and basically this this one is the eyeball thing okay so by separating these three message you can texture any character eyes yeah, as you want okay and you can also use uh, different different materials from this eyes uh, texture you can you, uh, you can see there are three material that you can three texture that you can actually use to color your eyes so you can choose according to your preference okay so this is how you texture your eyes in blender so guys i hope you liked my tutorial and if you liked my tutorial make sure to like and subscribe my channel this really helps a lot to my channel so see you later guys thank you